Hi, I'm Jess and the Clinical Nurse Manager for DePaul. We filmed this overdose management and naloxone administration video with the help of our staff, our service users and our volunteers to help build confidence in managing these situations in our services. This first scene demonstrates what to do if you find somebody who may be under the influence of substances, who's unresponsive and not breathing. Hello? Hello? Ruben? Ruben? Hi, someone call um, 112, bring AAD lots of, someone is unresponsive in the TV room. Okay, I'm sure it is. Ruben? How are you doing? How's he doing? I have an AED, some naloxone, and a mouthpiece. Okay, so we can get him down. Can you the floor. Yeah. Safely. He's not, he's not breathing. Can you breathe. bring him down to the floor? Okay, we take him down softly, gently. You don't have to bang his head. Be as gentle as possible. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now we start. Okay, put him down the way. Have you checked the When a person is not breathing and requires CPR, the AED is needed. One person should open, turn on the AED, and attach the pads as soon as it arrives on the scene, while the other person is checking for breathing, giving breaths, or starting compressions. To use naloxone, check the expiration date. Remove the clear film wrapping by twisting the outer plastic box as shown and removing the seal. Open the box which contains one syringe of naloxone and two needles. Remove the instructions and place them beside you. Check that the needle seal isn't broken and open the needle by pushing the blue top through the paper backing. Remove the rubber cap of the naloxone syringe and attach the needle in a twisting motion. Hold the naloxone firmly at the barrel and at the tip of the needle sheath. Remove the needle sheath, being careful to keep your fingers away. Administer one dose of naloxone in the largest part of the leg at a 90 degree angle holding the device like a pen or a dart. Inject the naloxone slowly into the first black line. Place the used naloxone back into the yellow tray being careful not to touch off anything. Take over compressions from your partner after administering naloxone. Continue compressions for another one cycle of CPR, 30 compressions to two breaths. Administer a second dose of naloxone after three cycles of CPR. Repeat these steps until the person wakes up or help arrives. This next scene demonstrates what you should do if you happen to find somebody who's unresponsive but is still breathing. Rika, you all right, love? You okay? Marika, can you hear me? Marika? Hi, it's Jess, I'm just doing the checks here. I'm in room three, Marika's not responding. Can you call an ambulance, bring the naloxone and the AED, please, thanks. Marika? Marika, can you hear me? Hi oh, Jess, I have the AED and uh, Hi, Quinn. I have song here for you. Perfect, you great, she thanks. She's good, she's breathing. Can you get, get over to the yeah. other side there? Can I do it? Um, yeah, put her into the recovery position there and um, on your side. Is her head okay there? Yeah. Okay, Seems to be. okay great, just pop up there for me. Okay. She breathing there okay? Yeah, she's still breathing. Yeah. 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 Grand. It's okay, Marika. You just got a shot of naloxone there. You're going to be waking up shortly, okay? 
Ambulance is on the way. You all right, love? Yeah, okay, you're in Can good you hands hear me? now. Can you hear me, love? Her breathing's okay there, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's great. It looks brilliant, yeah. Got it. It's been about two or three minutes there. Yeah, you grab another, one yeah, you grab another side side. lock on yeah. there, yeah. 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 Just there where I gave it there. Just be careful, okay? Okay, I'll put it back in. Great. Just mind your fingers there, yeah? No. Marika, you okay, love? Yeah. It's Jess. You all right? Yeah. You've just had a dose of naloxone there, okay? You weren't breathing very well. So the ambulance is on the way. You okay? Yeah, yeah they'll be here shortly, all right? It's important after any situation involving an overdose to debrief with your team and other service users that may have witnessed the incident. It's important to notify your management or on-call as soon as possible and complete the incident report. Hello, welcome Monica. It's nice to meet you. Fine. Take you to the office now, okay? Hi Anna, how are you? Good. It's good to see you. Do you want a cup of tea? We'll go have a quick chat. Thank you. John, will you grab Monica a quick cup of tea for me? Okay, I'll do Right, that. come on over here. Have a seat there. Perfect. How are you doing? Okay, doing okay. Grand. Quinn, would you do me a favor and just grab the flashcards for me? Yeah. Yeah. We're right. there. Perfect. All right. We're glad that you're safe. Yeah, we're Don't be worried. Thank you. Okay. Um, so maybe we'll get you a cup of tea and maybe make sure that we have a chat yeah. in the morning just to make sure that we go through a few things to make you safe. How are you feeling now? Better. Better? Okay, good. Well, we'll check in with you a little bit later on and we'll just see if there's anything that we can do, okay? Okay. Just wanted to let you know, I don't know if you remember, but um, we used the naloxone on you last night, okay? Mm -hmm. So you weren't breathing very well. Um, I'm not sure we should take it or not, but we were really worried about you. So we called the ambulance, but we got this into you really quickly. So it'd be good maybe tomorrow if we could talk about how you could yeah. carry this around on you so that if that happens again, that we can make sure that we can always yeah. keep you safe, okay? Thanks a million. Thank you. Great. You've now seen two videos demonstrating the use of naloxone, one where a person's not breathing and one where a person's unresponsive but is still breathing. It's important that when a service user returns after overdosing that we provide an overdose prevention intervention. This might be keeping somebody on high risk checks or referring them to another healthcare provider or using your naloxone champions on site to promote personal naloxone kits. It's important to know that not every overdose happens immediately after taking a substance. Overdoses can happen over a long period of time and they can be what we call slow burners. The most important thing you can do if you find someone unresponsive it's call for help. After that, use naraxone. Naraxone can save lives. When in doubt, give it out.